Hi everyone and welcome. It's great having you here with me. I say that a lot, don't I? You know why? Because I mean it. It's wouldn't be the same without you here. <laughs> this is a remake of the Bitsy soap that I made recently um, with goat tallow and goat milk. However, uh, as I explained in the Suds video, one person came in and bought all of that soap. <laughs> and that soap was made with most of the Bitsy tallow that I had. So this is a mixture of bison tallow that I have and some of the Bitsy tallow that I have. So this is goat and bison tallow both. Um, and also, as I mentioned, pure tallow soap generally does not tend to be very sudsy. As a matter of fact, not much at all. So in this one, I'm going to be adding a couple of tablespoons of sugar just to give it a little bit of suds without having to add any coconut or additional oils to it. In addition, um, this isn't going to, I should say in subtraction <laughs> rather than in, in addition to. This is still going to be the very same soap. It's just going to be two ingredients, the milk and the tallow. And of course the lye, that the lye is what turns the fat and the water or milk in this case into soap. You can't make soap without lye. <laughs> it's a simple truth about soap. If you have ever heard someone say that this soap has no lie in it, then it's either not soap or they're not telling you the full truth. Sometimes you'll see things that say saponified oils. Well, saponified oils uh, are created from lye and oil. So it can't be saponified without lye. Uh, some just will say things like sodium palamate, which is palm oil that has been saponified. There are all sorts of words that people try to use to avoid using the word lie. And I think lie got a bad rap back in my grandmother's day because they had to make their lye from wood ash. They didn't, couldn't go to the store and just buy sodium hydroxide the way we do now. And at least the poor people like my grandmother. Perhaps some people that had money had access to chemists and could get it. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm getting off base here. Uh, but the soap that they made, because it was made from wood ash, it was inexact. They had some ways of uh, filtering it and of measuring it, and uh, they did the best they could, but oftentimes the soap was very lie heavy. My mother talked a lot about the soap that her mother made when she was real young, making her rather raw before she was able to get uh, a better measured type of sodium hydroxide which is what my mother did as she grew up using, and that's what I grew up learning from my mother. Anyway, so that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to get my uh, tallow melted, then we'll get our goat milk ready and put this all together. All right. All right, so now it's time to get our goat milk melted. So I'm going to add in just a bit of lye to get it started here. Same old routine. If you've been here a while, you've seen me do this so many times. So you're welcome to skip through it. You're not going to miss too much. I chit chat a lot and you know, I was watching several, I've watched a lot of videos where the soapers really don't say much at all. And I really enjoy those a lot. I guess I hear myself talking so much, making videos that it's nice to hear 
quieter <laughs> videos where you just hear some nice music. So, if you're someone who prefers that type of video too, what I may start doing is uploading two different videos. Uh, one where I talk and one with just music. If you would, in the comments below, let me know if you think that might be a good idea. Do you sometimes just want to watch a soap being made and just have it play in the background without having to listen to me babble on? <laughs> if so, please say so in the comments and I will make that happen. Because it's not that big a deal. When I'm editing a video, uh, all I would have to do is just take out the audio and leave the music at this, you know, normal volume and that's all there is to it. So it would be the same video, just without my big mouth. So if that sounds like something good, <laughs> I won't be offended. Just let me know in the comments. Because I'll still put up these because, well, I'm going to chat through them anyway. Um, so you will have a choice. But let me know if that's something you might be interested in. So this is always just such a fun thing for me. I just love the process of making any soap, but certainly soap that comes right from the milk from my goats always makes me happy. And especially a tallow soap where this includes some of my own animal, uh, and some of the local bison in the area. So, I don't know, it makes me feel rather good. Uh, there's just something kind of farm to table or farm to bathtub. <laughs> Maybe that's uh, a new catchphrase, I don't know. So, yeah. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this the rest of the way melted and then we'll get it added into our uh, oils, or tallow, it's oil. <laughs> I hope you've all had a good day. I will tell you that it's been a good day for today. It was a work day. I do work on Saturdays. I'm off on Sundays and Mondays. In case you ever wondered or care, <laughs> I work uh, uh, Tuesday through Saturday. And I like the hours. I like the day. Um, and now, my hours vary. For instance, on Fridays, uh, well, yesterday, uh, I went into work at 6 a.m. and got off uh, about 4 p.m. And today I went to work at about noon my time and off at about 9 p.m. So my schedule can vary and that's up to me. I, my uh, company is very good that way where I can, within reason, modify my schedule somewhat where necessary. All right, so that's all melted now. So the next we're going to bring back in our tallow and get this put together. I'm adding no color to this, nor am I adding any scent. This is just a very clean, simple soap. There's not much to it. It'll be very white because of the tallow uh, and very hard, <laughs> making it a long lasting soap. Uh, and of course, with the sugar that I'm adding, but I won't add this till I start mixing it because if I put it in here now, this may get a little overheated and I don't want to scorch my milk. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and then we'll get our oils and put this together. All right, so now going to pour my goat milk mix into our tallow. 
And I do realize that the smell of tallow is not for everyone. But I don't think that tallow soap smells like tallow. Now, when it is right now, do I smell tallow? Well, of course I do, because it's just here melted before us. But once it goes through saffron through saponification, that smell pretty much dissipates, and I don't think tallow soap has much of a fragrance at all. All right, there we go. I'm going to get the stick blender here. And we'll go ahead and get this mixed. Get the molds ready now. Set this aside. I'm going to use these lovely little swirly molds. I really like these a lot. But you know what? I'm going to move this tile. You know what? I almost forgot my sugar. So I'm going to put that in real quick and give it a stir. All right, now I can get it poured. Oh, what? Something fell in there. There we go. Oops, I shifted that one a little. I really like these little molds. I think they lend themselves very nicely to multicolor, like I did with the Christmas mint soap. But because of the nice size of these, these are just a little under four ounces. They, and they have a flat side and of course the textured side, they are so ergonomic. They just feel so good in the hand. So I thought I would re reuse these. Those Christmas mint were so popular. I made two or three different uh, batches of that and I think I have four bars left. <laughs> Right. So 
So almost got it done here. I appreciate how patient you all are while I pour. I'm trying to be neat. I know I've been rather messy lately, so I'm trying to be more patient, slow down, be a little more zen about my pours, <laughs> so I don't make all those mistakes. I should probably talk a lot less. That wouldn't hurt. Okay. Oh, I overpoured. See there? <laughs> well, I was doing so well. I shouldn't brag on myself. Okay, there. Got them. A little more in that one. That where I spilled some out. There we go. And we're good to go. A little more there. Well, there are a couple little messes, but overall, I would say this was a pretty decent pour, wouldn't you? <laughs> Look at me. I'm pouring in the one. I was looking at it going, that one's overfilled, and what do I do? I poured more in it. I can be a little goofy sometimes. All right. Alright, I got it all out. Hi. These are coming out. Oh, and I just poked that one with my finger. Bad thing to do. Alright. Rather nice, don't you think? They're so simple. And there's something pure and sweet about that i think perhaps sweet is not the right word now i will say that i just used the last of bitsy's uh tallow uh, and bitsy's milk i actually i do label my milk when i I generally bag it, uh, then I freeze it, and or I cube it and freeze it. Uh, aren't those nice? And that was the last of hers. And I don't know, that kind of means something special to me. But I hope you've enjoyed these. I had a lot of fun putting them together. Um, they're... No, I suppose to some, they might not appear to be anything special. But uh, these will be ready in mid-February. Again, these are 100% tallow and milk soap with a bit of sugar in there to give them a little bit of bubble. So we'll test these, of course, in the next uh, uh, lather test video. And I think you'll find these bubble much nicer than the last ones. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. Goodbye.